Have you been getting fed these ads for a Notion productivity system recently? It looks really cool, but what's great fun is that so many people seem to be losing their minds at the fact that there's a graph that refreshes in the workspace view immediately when habits are checked off. But how? It's not part of the template. How can I get this feature? Hey friends, it's Simon. Welcome back to Better Creating. Today, you've probably clicked on this video because you want to know how to create a habit tracking graph in Notion. Let's dive in. So this is my habit tracker. What's really cool is there's a days database that is linked to a set of habits which are actually in a habit tracker database. And what happens is it works as a relation. So when I log running, that button is linking the current day to run in log habits and you'll see the filter that makes that happen is day contains today. Each time a new day is created, you'll see that the template in the days database is an at today symbol. So that means that I've got a little system when this opens up, which is using an automation, which sets today's date. And you can see the automation is this. When a page is added, set today's date as today. Simple, right? So that's the first thing. And then what you'll see is in run, if we open this up, it's linked today to run in the relations that are hidden there and it updates and counts things. So I love my habit tracker because I can simply press a button and it will actually count how many out of the target I've set over a period of time will be done. But the coolest thing is if I now add a couple more things to today, like log reading, there it is, and maybe logging yoga. If I now refresh this chart, it pops up and shows me that I've completed it. And I'm now three habits on January the 3rd. And of course, I can do another one, log meditation, and it will soup up to four. Right, so how do you make this? Well, you do it in something called Chartbase. Now, Chartbase is a really cool uh, system where you can create charts and link it to your Notion system. So if you wanna do that, go to notiontocharts.com and you can sign in with Google. To be honest, it's 100% free for one graph. If you want multiple graphs, like I've got here, you'll need to sign up to a kind of pro plan, not the advanced plan, that's $4 a month. It's about three pounds a UK for me. And it's really worth doing, personally, I think, because I can do things like a wheel of life uh, in my goal setting template and various other things. Anyway, this is how you make a new chart. What you would do is when you join it, you will click into the workspace and link your Notion workspace to selected pages in your system and allow access. Then once you've done it, you can create a new chart, select line chart, click next, find the database that you want to follow. It's not my habit tracker, it's my days because I want to track how many habits have been linked to each day. I would select days. I would like to say, this is my days demo chart. I would like the axis to be date and I want the Y axis to be the number of habits logged, which is a roll up counting all of those relations. Create the chart. There are the dates along the bottom and there are the habits. You can set it as a single color. I like it all being a bit black and white personally. And probably something you're going to want to do down the bottom here is sort by the date so that it goes in order. And there you go. You just click the embed link, copy the link at the top, go back to Notion. And if I wanted to drop it in here, I could take a thing here and you can either do control V or right click and click paste create embed and it drops it in for you look at that so that is how you create charts in notion to visualize your data I hope you like it leave me a like below make sure you subscribe if you haven't and check out one of these videos next for more on great notion and productivity hacks and make sure you get over to bettercreating.com and check out the array of new templates that are coming out this year to get your life organized well I better get back to creating. See ya.